Hey guys, so I'm going to be swatching for you these NYC lipsticks. I know this setup is kind of weird, but I wanted to get it close up so you guys can see the color. I have six of these NYC lipsticks. These are newer to my Dollar Tree. And then I have about four other lipsticks that they carry at the Dollar Tree. Well, they at least still carry them at mine. So the first one that I'm going to swatch for you is this one. It is 418 Sugar Plum. I think it's a really pretty color. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you. These lipsticks are actually pretty pigmented for a dollar. At least I think they are. So let me put this next to the color. So that's the 418 Sugar Plum up there. Right there. The next one that I'm going to do is... This kind of, it's like a rose color with a hint of pink. It's like a berry, I don't know, like a rose mixed with berry color. I'm not very good at describing colors. This is 442, I keep going to the wrong side, 442 Berry Me. I actually think this color is really pretty. So let me swatch this one for you. So... Here is the 442 Berry Me, and I think that one is really, really pretty right there. This is one that I actually would love to try out and wear. The next one is this one. This is kind of a light Barbie pink, I would say, and this is the 411 Snow Cone. If you can see that and it will focus. So let me swatch that one for you guys. They have a similar color to this in the Wet n Wild line. It also comes in a lip gloss. So there's the 411 Snow Cone, the third one. So I'm pretty impressed with these lipsticks for a dollar. I think the pigmentation is really nice. This one, I really, really like this color. This is kind of like a caramel latte color to me. So this one is in the 440 Creamy Caramel. This is a definite color that I will wear with probably like a rose colored lip liner to add a little bit of, I don't know, kind of a different color to it. So there's the 440 Creamy Caramel. I love that one. That one's really pretty. Then there's this one. This is kind of your typical Barbie pink. This one's pretty, but this isn't one that I would normally wear. Not saying I would never wear it, but it's just not like a color that I would wear on a normal basis. So this one is 417 Flirty. Let me swatch this one for you. Ooh, that one's really pigmented. You don't need a lot of that one at all. Let me put this next to it. So that's the 417 Flirty right there. There's all the colors so far. And then the last one of the NYCs that I just got is this really bright magenta pink. And this one is, I keep going to the wrong side of the camera, I'm sorry you guys. This is the 405 Blue Rose. So this is the lipstick that has the blue undertones. It's kind of like a purpley blue undertone if you can see that. So let's see what this one looks like. This one is really, really pigmented as well. So that is the 405 Blue Rose. And I actually think that's really, really pretty. I don't know if I'd be brave enough to wear this one. I really definitely want to try and wear it, but it's really bright. So you can definitely see that blue and kind of purple undertones. So there's all the NYC lipsticks that I just bought. I think the pigmentation on this is really, really nice for a dollar, like I've said. I keep repeating myself. So I have four more that I want to swatch for you guys that I still see on a normal basis at my Dollar Tree. So... This one is just an L.A. Colors. The packaging is kind of chintzy on these, but I do think the color is pretty. This is like a kind of pink mauve color. This is the Pink Frost. So 
So let me swatch this one. I'm going to do this one on the side. This one is really light. It's not super pigmented. You can see it. It's got some shimmer in it, and it's really glossy. The NYCs have some gloss look to them as well. So this one is the Pink Frost in the LA Colors. Not super impressed with this one, but if you want something subtle, this is another LA Colors. This is a bright red one, and this one is the Nectarine. So this is kind of an orangey red. I'm guessing that's why they named it Nectarine. Let me go ahead and swatch this one. Again, this is not super pigmented. It's more of a glossy, kind of a glossy red. So there's the Nectarine right there. If you can see that. And then I have two more for you guys. So this is also an NYC lipstick. And it's like half and half. It's got one color on one side, and then it's got this color. So this side is like a purple kind of magenta color, and then this side is like a hot Barbie pink. This is the 432, the, I keep going to the wrong side, oh my gosh. I'm looking at the lipstick instead of the watch back part. It's the Metropolitan Mobs. So I guess these are supposed to be mobs. I know there's a glare, which is... Kind of making it hard to see. This one's actually sealed. I've never opened this one. So hopefully I can get this one open without it taking too long. Or else I'll have to pass up on this one. Yeah, you guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to pass up on this one. It's going to take too long for me to open it. If you're interested to see this one swatched, let me know. I can do that in a separate video. And then the last one that I have to swatch for you guys is one that I still always see there. I think the color looks really pretty. I've never swatched or used this one. It is the Wet n Wild uh, Mega Plump. So I guess this is supposed to plump your lips. It's got some lip plumper in it. Whether or not it works, I don't know. So this one is... I don't see a color on this one. Let me see, guys. Yeah, I don't see any name. All I see is a number on the bottom. And there's no way you guys are going to be able to see that. It's just 325901. I don't know why there's not a name on this, but let me show you what it looks like when you twist it up. So it's a really pretty kind of mauve berry color. So let me swatch that one. So this one is super pigmented, you guys, and it's actually pretty dark. You really don't need a lot of it. I'm trying to get my hand down but I don't want to get the lipstick on my blanket let me wipe the bottom ones off really quick I know this video is not the greatest but so there's the wet and wild right there the mega plump I wish it had if my camera will focus I wish it had a name because that's really pretty the only thing I can see is a number on it that is really super pretty very pigmented you don't need a lot of it at all I absolutely love this one, and I'm glad I got it out to swatch it because, to me, it looked kind of cheap, but I was attracted to the color. So, once again, the number on the bottom is 325901. I don't know if that's going to do you any good, but I'll show it to you one more time. So, if you see this one, I definitely recommend picking it up. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Plump. So, I have more lipsticks, but those are the ones that I wanted to swatch for you guys. I already wiped a lot of them off because I didn't want to get it on the blanket, but there's some of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I apologize for the quality. I know it's not the best, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.